Hmm, gotta recreate this. If you are on Instagram, you might have seen these kind of reels and the creator who actually came up with this idea, his name is D2 Shot. Go check his page out, I'm gonna leave some information down below and he's creating some amazing stuff. In this video, I'm gonna show you the secrets on how to create this magical stuff. And the secret is you have to like and subscribe to this channel. Just kidding. If you like this video, do subscribe though. But uh, we'll try to recreate this sequence and see what can we come up with. If you notice, these clips are very short, like 15, 16 seconds. And if you start counting the scenes, they are probably like uh, 25 to 30, you know, different scenes which are in these videos. So we're going to create this using Premiere Pro. And also, you know, we have to use the After Effects. And I'll explain why we have to use After Effects for this kind of time remapping or speed ramping. First tip that I'm going to give you for shooting, like always shoot at higher frame rates when you're trying to come up with these kind of shots. So we're going to be doing a lot of speed ramping and time remapping. Uh, so we need to shoot like at least 60 or 120 FPS. So I'm going to be using this as my object or subject. So everything is going to be revolving around this thing. So let's begin shooting. And then we'll go back into editing process and see what can we create. So a gimbal is a must for these kind of shoots. So uh, I am using my old Ronin S and I have my Canon R5 with 16 to 35 mm lens uh, on it. As you can see, I'm moving in and out and in different directions, but you know, keeping a similar kind of pace. This is going to help you when you are back into your editing software to speed ramp and have more stabilized footage. I have my audio track on Premiere Pro. I've created the markers already so that I can cut to the beat. Put the clip that you want to apply these effects. Again, this footage is all 120 FPS as I mentioned and I already slowed down to 24 frames per second. Uh, I'm going to open this in After Effects to apply time remapping effects. So. When a clip is already converted to 24 frames per second, it's already slow motion. So what we are going to do is like just uh, speed certain parts of this clip up and leave the slow parts as is so that we can get like that time remapping effect. So I'm going to enable time remapping by going into the time remapping option. And what that's going to do is going to create a keyframe at the start and at the end of this clip. Basically, if we bring the last keyframe closer to the first one from uh, the right to the left, it will actually you know, speed up the footage. So I'm just going to go quickly scrub through this and see where I want the slow part to remain and rest I'm going to speed up the footage. So, okay, so as you can see, I just created the points. Now I am going to bring the last keyframe in and basically I'm not cutting the footage after that. It's just speeding it up so why we do this in uh, after effects as i mentioned right in the beginning that this kind of time remapping that we have seen in d2 shots videos is all done through after effects and it gives you more smooth controls as compared to premiere pro and we can further refine that using the graphs and graph editor tool in my case it's looking fine so i'm going to leave it as is also i'm going to go and you know add an adjustment layer over here, I'm going to apply this effect called force blur and that's going to really create some motion blur and this effect is going to really help with, you know, making this clip look really fast as well. Okay, so once the effect is applied, you go back to Premiere and it's already saved. Let me quickly apply uh, the Rec 709 conver conversion uh, from C-Log because I shot everything on C-Log and my lot for certain look that I am going for. You're going to repeat these steps for all the clips that you are going to be editing and then pretty much create a sequence and I came up with something like this. So guys, do let me know in the comment section down below what you think about today's video. If you've learned anything of value, please consider subscribing and do let me know your feedback. Also, full disclaimer, this was my first attempt using After Effects and I must say like, you know, it was a learning experience. But, you know, the more you practice with these kind of shots in After Effects, the videos that you're going to make are going to become better and better. So do also, uh, you know, leave your links in the you know comment section down below if you create something similar. I would love to see your work and maybe we can collaborate in the future. So on that note, goodbye and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one.